bitch, I work. Down with the pack, I roll. Up with the sack, and you know that I deserve it. Half and half from the bitch. Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. My name is Titilayo and if this is your first time seeing me on your screen and stopping by on my channel, it is very very nice to meet you. You are welcome. If this is not your first time, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be on the makeup look that I had on in my last video. So my last video was the one where I reviewed my pink wig. If you haven't checked out that video, I'm going to link it right up on the screen. Make sure to check out that video. So I was requested to repeat that makeup look because I only did it on my Snapchat and some people actually missed that tutorial. Most of the details to that look focused mainly on the eyes. So because of that, I'm only going to be focusing on the eyes in this video. I'm gonna head to do the rest of my face and in the next couple of seconds I'm going to be bringing you guys a little closer just to see exactly what I'm doing. So just before we get on with this video, I do want to mention that we're almost at a thousand subscribers guys. Like, <laughs> I am so happy and I'm so proud. Like. Yo, you guys don't even know how happy I am. So please, 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 if you're not yet subscribed to my channel, please make sure to subscribe so we can get ourselves to 1,000, you know? And make sure to share this video with your friends and family. For those of you who are already subscribed, please make sure to share this video with everyone you know just so they can also subscribe and share with people they know so they can also subscribe and, you know, you know, the chain. I'm really looking forward to getting to 1,000 because I do have plans for a 1,000 subscriber giveaway. So, yeah. Yeah, so yeah. Anyways, let's get on with the video. So I'm priming my eyes using my Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation and Concealer. I'm going to set that using my Airspun Translucent Powder. Going in with my first transition shade, this is October 1st from Coastal Scents. I'm going to place this slightly above my crease. Going in with this burnt orange shade from Juvia's Place, I'm going to put that also on October 1st. So then I went into my Masquerade palette by Juvia's Place and I took the color Zobo. And I'm just using this to further define my crease area. And then going into my Car Bright and Matte Eyeshadow Palette, I'm taking this dark purple shade and I'm just using that to outline my crease. So I went back in again and took a fluffy brush with that same purple shade just to kind of diffuse it into my crease area and I didn't take this past a third of my crease. So to blend everything further, I went back in with Zobo from the Masquerade Palette. So I kept alternating between the two palettes and the colors that I was applying from them until I got the right intensity that I was satisfied with. To cut my crease, I used the Hard Candy Glamouflage Concealer and I use this because it is very very light but you can feel free to use whatever white base or concealer you have. I went on to set that concealer using my Airspun Translucent Powder. Going back into that Cara palette and taking that same purple shade, I'm just using this on the outer corners of the concealer just to kind of hide those harsh lines. And I'm going to drag this in very slightly just to start building up that gradient effect. So taking this other purple shade also from the Cara palette, I'm going to drag this even further into my lid. And this just helps again with the illusion of that gradient. I'm back in with the first purple shade just to kind of correct the um, mistakes and hide any harsh lines. 
going into my Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit, I took the shade Summer, and this is the Sun Dipped Glow Kit, and I put this on the inner corners of my eye and dragged this towards those purple shades. So going back again with that middle purple shade, I'm just going to try and blend these two together. And then I went in with this purple pigment from Mitch and Mia. And this is just like a shimmery purple shade. And it looks like the perfect in between for those two colors. So I put it right in between the highlighter as well as the other purple shade. Just to kind of help with the transitioning. Using October 1st, I blended all the colors out. And then I went on to line my eyes using my NYC Black Eyeliner. So this wasn't in the initial look that I was recreating but I decided to go in with a glitter and apply this to my crease just to you know revamp the whole look and I think that this was a very very nice addition. So the glitter I'm using is Purple Tears from superglitters.com. Alright guys, so this is what the look is like right now. So um, off camera, I went and applied those two purple shades underneath my waterline and I started off with the light purple one and just used the dark one to kind of smoke out my eyes towards the end. So now I'm just going to go into apply my blush and I'm just going in with my Milani Big Blush in Coral Lena. I'm just placing that on the apples on my cheeks and I'm also going to put that onto my temples as well. So I'm going in very lightly with the blush because I don't want my face to overpower the um, eye makeup look. I want all of the attention to be focused just on the eye. Alright guys, so for my highlighter today, I'm going to go in with my Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder in the shade Crown of my Canopy. And I'm just going to take that and apply that to the areas that I usually like to highlight. I'm also going to take that same shade and put that on the inner part of my eyes. Going in with my Master Chrome Highlighter from Maybelline. This is the one in Molten Gold 100. I'm going to take that and just place that above the crown of my canopy. And I love this combo. Like this, is, this has come to become my favorite, one of my favorite highlighter combos. I'm just going to place that directly above part of my canopy. I'm going to just spray my face using my Scandinavia Finishing Makeup Setting Spray in Oil Control. For my lips, I wanted to go in with something that was nude but still purple based. So first of all, I'm going to go in and line my lips using this random brown liner. And I'm going in with this Sephora Cream Lip Stain in the shade Purple Sunset. And I'm just going to put this around my lips, focusing it on the outer parts of my lip. Now that I'm satisfied with what that lipstick looks like, I'm going to go in with another lipstick. And this is from Colourpop. It's one of their ultra matte lipsticks. And it's the one in Kapow. And I'm going to place this in the center of my lips. You can feel free to leave it like this if you'd like. 
but I decided to go in with a gloss and the gloss I'm using is just a clear gloss from LA Colors and I'm just going to take that generously on my lips. Alright guys, so here's the finished look. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please make sure to hit the like button down below. If you're not already subscribed, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Share this video with all of your friends and family. And if you'd like to see any more looks from me or any video ideas you'd like to see me put on my channel, please make sure to leave those in the comment section below. And I wish you guys a wonderful, fabulous, happy day. Bye-bye.